The Lord's peace be with you this morning. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. In the time when the judges led Israel, there was a famine in the land. Naomi of Bethlehem, her husband and their two sons left in search of better fortunes in Moab. When they got to Moab, Naomi's husband died. Her sons took Moabat's wives, Orpha and Ruth. They lived in Moab for the next ten years, but then Naomi's sons died. In her grief, Naomi set off for home, asking Orpah and Ruth to stay where they belonged in Moab. Eventually Orpah left Naomi, but Ruth was determined, saying, Don't force me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me severely if I allow anything but death to separate us. When Naomi saw that Ruth had her heart set on going with her, she gave in. Nurturing God when life falls apart around us gives us the courage to be faithful to our friends. Our reading continues in Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning at verse 57. The birth of John the Baptist. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, no, he is to be called John. They said to her, none of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tab tablet and wrote, his name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant. The oath that he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. Now it's time for the examine. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help, Help us, us to, to live, live the day, day with you in the centre. You call us together as your body. 
help us to share the day well with others. Yours is a revolution of love. Help us to share good news with the last, the lost and the least. Amen. So we continue now in a time of intercession, praying on behalf of our communities, the church and the world, those most in need this day. Holy God, we recognise that we stand in need of your assistance as we walk life's path. And so we lift before you our weakness, our vulnerabilities, the things that we struggle with. We pray for all those who are longing for the fulfilment of your promises to them. Those who wait in hope. And we ask, Lord, that your Holy Spirit would bring comfort and restoration and strength, that those who hope in you would not hope in vain. We pray in this Easter season for the church that we would make room for you, Lord, in the busyness of our lives, that our relationship with you would deepen, that we would experience the new life the rebirth of faith, hope and love. We pray for those who struggle with the demands of daily life, the unemployed, those without health care, those in abusive relationships. And we pray for the shifting in structures of our society for equity and justice for all. That you, Lord, would show us how we can ease the struggle of others and that you would awaken hope in the hearts of those who are despairing this day. Guide them to the help that they need. Show them the path to a new beginning. We pray for those who lead and those who are striving to form new governments for the people of the Middle East, Ukraine, Russia, all those who suffer at the hands of oppressors. And we pray, Lord, for your enlightenment and inspiration that the leaders of the world would build structures that respect the rights of others, that promote life and health and establish educational and economic opportunities. We pray for those who are ill or injured this day, those who await surgery or the result of tests, and we ask for your mercy and compassion. We name before you, Lord, those known to ourselves among our communities who need your healing touch this day. We pray too for those who are displaced, who have lost homes, livelihoods, families and friends all who are awaiting the salvation of the Lord to break into the darkness. May you protect the most vulnerable Lord, guide their footsteps, guard their hearts as they journey and bring them safely back home. And as our Saviour Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil, 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Come to me, all who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Come away with me, and you'll recover your life. Walk with me and work with me. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Abide in my love. Let my joy be in you and may your joy be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer. Now you are my friends. Brother Jesus, as we enter this new day, help us to trust in your friendship. The Spirit of God dwells in us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Thank you for joining us for morning prayer today. For those who are attending our Evensong service at 5.30 tonight, we look forward to seeing you there. May God bless you.